Hello right up at Ellie. As I'm sure you've noticed, I'm not at home right now. I'm at the beach. And it is beautiful. How do you ride like you're running out of time? again right up at Ali. Sorry for the continuity change and sorry for the background scenery change. I filmed the first bit on one day and the rest of the footage was unusable so we're going to be using this. I'm aware the sun is literally right behind my head. I've got a sort of a golden aura around me which looks rather nice. If I move my head you'll be blinded so let's try and make this a bit quick. This video comes to you in two parts. Part one, writing retreats. So as anyone who follows me on my social media knows I'm on a writing retreat. Uh, if anyone doesn't know what a writing retreat is it's essentially a sort of, I'm going to describe it as a working holiday. I'm not sure if that's the right expression or not, but that's what I'm going to say. It's more of a working holiday where writers can sort of escape to and crack on with their work. Um, I should point out, it's not an official writing retreat. I'm in a cottage that I've rented out for four or five days, and it's not writing related at all, it's just what I'm using it for. But there are official writing courses around the globe. There's some in America, there's some in England, they're global. So if you want to go for one, I highly suggest checking it out. Uh, just for reference, I'm on the south coast of England in Canberra Sands. I'm going to try and show you and have a quick clip of the sea behind me because the tide's got out and looks absolutely marvellous. Here we go. You can just see it back there in the background. Oh, my face looks awful in that light. So yeah, uh, writing treats. I highly recommend them. I've got lots of work done. I had four targets to do. Target number one, finish the draft of Empty Nights, my current novel. Uh, that is done, thankfully. There's a few points I need to address. I can't do that till I'm at home. The reason I don't have internet in my cottage, so I'm purely reliant on the data on my phone, and that's going to run out very shortly. Goal number two, plot out novel number two, called uh, Ghost Train. That's the working title anyway. I've done parts of that, but I really need flashcards to continue. I haven't got any with me. So it's a point for next time, bring flashcards. Number three, film this video, which obviously I'm doing now, as you can see. And number four would be to film a video of my other vlog, which is called Starting With Strangers. I'll post the link to that below. So yeah, I highly recommend writing treats for all writers. Even if it's not your thing, I suggest doing it once, just for the experience and nothing else. If you're writing retreats around the world, do do writing courses. Now, I have not done a writing course per se, I have done a degree in creative writing. So very briefly, I've said this a few times on this channel now, I think. I did creative writing at London South Bank University and I graduated in 2015. Uh, very briefly, my course was a three year course. Each year set into two modules, or sorry, two semesters. And in one semester was three modules. So for example, in the first year of the first term, first semester, you would do three modules. And that would be writing for the novel, writing short stories and writing for cultural memory, just for example. Although in second year you can then choose what modules to pick, to some extent you had options, number three you could just choose your major project, there was, oh there's the sun, there was some sort of uh, rigidness about it, you couldn't go off and do your own thing completely. Whereas if, for example, if you were a poet, for example, you did one poetry module, sorry, you did one poetry module in the second year, and you want to do poetry for the final year, that's fine. However, that's it. Whereas if you're on a writing course, I suggest you go for one, firstly tailored for poetry, or if it's your fancy, novel, short stories, anything like that. The final question I'm often asked is, are writing courses worth it? And I say it depends on what you want to go on the course for. So if you want to go on it for improving your skills, then yeah, go for it. I had to turn off the camera and on again there because someone asked me what I was doing filming on the beach and why I was talking to myself. Clearly they've never heard of vlogging. Anyway, thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week's video should be back at my house in the normal conditions. And take care.